All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today I'm gonna go and I'm actually looking through some ra rankings that I have on one of my websites and I'm looking at Claude AI and I only used it a couple times to be honest, but I my first crack at it, I actually created this article, How to Start a Hoarding Cleanup Business, and it's been ranking in the top 10 ever since it came out. I actually did this months ago, back in August, and you can see it came right in at uh, position 12, then 13. You know, this has no backlinks, nothing, no external SEO, just straight on page. And it's gone all the way into the top 10, and it's gone as uh, high as number five and within the last month it's lost a couple spots but we are pretty strong in the top 10 for the last a couple months since the beginning of september i want to see what i did and if i can replicate this so we're going to go and i can also go and just check right here how to start a hoarding cleanup business and we can scroll through and see that on my browser, I'm actually ranked number five. Uh, SERP robot's gonna check it from, from New York. So it looks like in New York, we are ranked number seven. <clears throat> but in New Mexico, I'm ranked number five right here. I used Claude and Neuron Writer. Now when I go and check out the article, and you can see when it was published, August 1st, right? And there's no images other than a featured image right here, and then look, we literally have no other images, but I do like this plugin I'm using on here. I did pick it up from uh, AppSumo. I forgot what it's called, but I'm only using it on this this site, and it basically provides a, an image to an article that is relevant. And so I, I think it kind of breaks up the content and adds Im kind of images in there automatically. So I kind of like it. I don't have to go and add a bunch of images. It does break up the text. It does do internal linking in the website automatically as well. So I do like the way it works. But we'll scroll through and we can see that after the article is done, I noticed something right here that I did do the FAQs right here, right? So the FAQs, I know that I've kind of mentioned, I don't like to do this on all articles, but I did do the FAQs and I must have gotten this from Neuron Writer because it optimizes the article. So we're gonna go and see if we can replicate this again. So let's go jump in. Here is where I found it in Claude from a few months ago, and you can tell I definitely use the prompt. And this is probably the, I know a lot of you use this prompt that is provided in NeuronWriter. This was probably my first time actually using it, and it creates the your entire article for you. And it came down here, and because ChatGPT does not do a good job at writing full length blog posts, you know, over a thousand words. It just doesn't. Claude is way better at it. And also you can argue that Claude also provides higher quality content or text more, you know, if you were gonna grade the readingness score of the two, Claude would probably win. I'm definitely not saying Claude's better than ChatGPT, but for perhaps for blog writing, it is because it in one go it can provide a 2000 word article and it also reads better in my opinion. And then it has great formatting. I mean, look at all this bulleted. It did everything for us right off the bat in one try. You have to really try hard with prompting with ChatGPT to get it to do all this stuff for you. And then I got to made a description, but you can see right here, I did not have the Q, the, the FAQs, right? We're not part of this because it's not part of the prompt, right? And so we get those from Neuron Writer. So let's go and see if we can actually replicate this. So I'm gonna go to Neuron Writer and open that up real quick. And we need a keyword. I'm just doing some keyword research, some fresh keyword research, and I'm gonna find uh, one over here, how to run a house clearance business. I have no idea what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and use that one. It does have a little bit of search volume. It's a similar keyword as well, and it is, we should be able to rank for it. It's an easy difficulty. So we're gonna just use that. I'm imagining that it's just clearance items that you're selling, so it's basically kind of like yard selling and so forth. We're gonna say new query, we're gonna throw this in at Neuron Rider, let it go and do its analysis, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back, so I'm gonna go and open this bad boy up, and I usually just leave it the way it is. We, are, we do have some really good content that we're gonna be going against, two greens, but then we have some great opportunities right here as well, so let's go ahead and push the next button. And then right in here, once you get into Neuron Writer, it's already went out and analyzed all the top ranking content and it's telling us kind of what we need uh, to have in our content, right? And so we can actually come all the way to the bottom 
copy all visible terms, you click this button over here and open up this option. And then it has this chat GPT prompt with suggested terms. So it's copied to my clipboard right here. Now we're gonna go back into Claude and I'm gonna go just back up to the main menu and right here in the box, the chat box, I'm gonna go ahead and do control V and I pasted that entire text in there and I'm gonna say start new chat. And then it's gonna go out to work. Here's a 2000 word blog post on how to find the best house clearance company. The H1 that it provides, dive into house clearance, how to find the best company to organize your rubbish. Oh, sorry, <laughs> house clearance company. So that sounds like it's going to be like showing up and having people clean your house. So instead of, you know, there's, it's, it's a, it's the, it's the same kind of concept as the hoarding only clearance <clears throat> just means you want people to come clear the stuff in your house. So it is essentially the same thing, but it is, you know, the search intent or whatever is going to be different. I don't know if this is going to be cannibalization uh, of content or not, because it's basically is kind of a hoarding, but we really aren't talking about the, you know, hoarding is not the search intent of someone that might be uh, looking at clearance, right? So, so you can see that Claude is doing a great job. It has a introduction paragraph right there, pretty short. It does have two paragraphs in the intro, but then how long will this clearance take? Blah, blah, blah. It's going out and doing all this content for us. And then we're going to come through here and it gives us nice bullet points, breaks things down for us and so forth. The only thing it's missing is like some tables, but it's going out and doing this. We'll be right back. While it's continuing to write, I want to look at what the title was. My H1 was literally just the, the, the question, answering the question. So that is what it's going to be. We're going to go over here and just grab our keyword. I'm going to go copy this into my other screen so I don't have to do that again. And then I'm going to go back in to Neuron Writer because we are going to be grading the content. So I'm going to go over to the title section over here. I'm going to place that in right there. And right here, I'm just going to put a colon and say full guide just to get a little bit more click worthiness right there. Push save. And we've already got our title in right there. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that as well and put that in to the top and make sure that that's the H1 and then push enter. So we're already at a 32 without even adding the content. Obviously, those are the major ranking factors, just the title itself. Let's go and check on our content over here. We have our key takeaways and so forth. I like putting that up at the top, but we're going to go and grab this content. Actually, what I like to do is copy the whole thing, right click and check. So it, it only wrote a 1300 word article. I believe the last one was like 1500 or something, but watch, we're going to get a lot more content because we are going to do the facts on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy just from here all the way down. I'm going to skip the key takeaways for now. I'm going to go put this in Neuron Writer and it's going to keep the formatting and so forth. I'm going to go back up to the top and you can see we're already really high up there um, with the score, which is cool. Let's see right over here. Right here is where I'm going to put the key takeaways. So I'm going to come back over here and grab the key takeaways right there. Come back in to Neuron Writer and paste that little section in right there. I think that's pretty cool. Have an introduction, key takeaways, and then boom, jump right into the content. But then what we can do, this is your choice. Now you can, and we have some red in here. We're a little over optimized for those keywords. We'll see if that hurts us or not. But we have a 71. I definitely would be comfortable with publishing this right now. Anything 60 or higher, I would be comfortable with publishing. I talked about over optimization of content, how that might be a thing now getting penalized, but I'm going to follow the same thing that I did last time because my article is still ranking even after all the Google updates this last couple of months, right? So we're at a 71. We know that we're going to be boosting this. So what I like to, to do and what I did was I come all the way down here and instead of this last part right over here, take time to research right before this last part. I'm going to consider that the conclusion. I'm going to push return right here just before the conclusion. And we're going to go into AI writing and then we're going to go to FAQ with unused terms. And then I'm going to go ahead and just say, write for me. So neuron writer, we're using neuron writers AI right now, and it's going to go out and use terms that um, it is not using in the content so far. 
and it's going to add that to our score. And you can see we're already at a 78 right there. We will need to come in here and fix some of this up like so. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't, but definitely take these hashtags off there if you want your content to rank and you know just double check. So it gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it gave us about ten questions, ten FAQs that people might be wondering and want answers to as well. So we have our score up to a 78. So I'm gonna go and publish this real quick. And then I'm going to keep track. So basically my tips are, make sure that the your H1 has the title, because over here in Claude, it, re, it, the, it writes it for you, right? So it actually writes you an H1, but I recommend just having the title as the main keyword, especially when we're going through these long phrases, answering questions. The last thing, so, and then you wanna make sure that the keyword is your slug as well. You wanna get in a featured image and make sure that keyword is in the featured image as well for SEO, all your basic SEO stuff. And then also you want to also go like this. So I'm gonna go back to the very bottom and I'm gonna paste this in. Give me a 140 character meta description for this blog post. The meta must include this phrase, how to run a house clearance, clearance business. It's going to give us a quick meta description. I'm going to use that in uh, WordPress when I go and publish this. So I'm going to go and publish this the exact way that I just described. And then I will come back with another video and see how quick this ranks. And if we can get in the top 20, in the top 10, using just Claude and NeuronWriter. Very simple. If you get a NeuronWriter right now, there'll be a link below. Go pick it up. It's on a lifetime deal still. So you can go and get it and never have to pay monthly for it again. It's an amazing SEO tool. And then Claude is free. So you're really, this is this possibly could be the cheapest and best content creation workflow that I have seen. But we will see, we, we did successfully do this once and we're, we're one for one. So let's see if we can do this again. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my update video whenever I rank this content and I'll see you next time.